Okay, so basically I'm gonna show off how I use my setup for like walking in games. And so this is how I do that setup with Rewazd. Um, if you want a like simpler and easier setup, you can use Stepel, which is much cheaper. Um, and it's, but the unfortunate thing is that it's only on Android and there's a little bit of a delay when it comes to actually um, walking and having your character walk in the game and it can only be bound to like the W key so if you're okay with those limitations then go for it use step L it's only like five dollars um, versus Rewazd which for a lifetime license I think it's forty dollars um, or more I'm not really sure um, but you can accomplish the same kinds of things uh, and with Rewazd it's a little bit more complicated to set up um, but I will walk you through it here, um, and Rewazd is also cross-platform. So, essentially what you're going to want to do is download both Rewazd mobile on your phone and Rewazd desktop, and then you're going to want to, on your phone, make sure that your phone and your computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi, okay? So, on the phone app, if you open it up after installing it, we're going to go over to the mobile controller tab. Here's all of the uh, controllers that I've set up. And what I'm going to do here is create a new controller, which is going to be of controller type control pad. And we're going to want all of the sensors. I don't actually know if we need all of them, but we're going to use all of them anyway. You're going to want a black background because your screen needs to be on all of the time. And so this will reduce some battery life, especially if you have like an OLED display, whatever, you don't care. Okay, so we have control pad two, okay? Oh, oh, oh geez. Okay, so now that screen has turned that way. Okay, that's fine, this is fine, we're good. Okay, so there's control pad two. And so now what we're gonna actually wanna do, um, since all we're gonna use this phone for is um, the gyroscope controller in your pocket, Basically, we're going to tap down here, we're going to go to the little, uh, what do you call it, um, pencil icon, and we're going to get rid of everything except for number one. So we only want one button, and we're going to make it really big. I don't know why I said button like that. One button. There you go. And you can go over here and delete all these buttons. You know, we're gonna go ahead and do that just, just to do it. Just to have a, a clean slate of, of no buttons. There we go. We got one big button. Save that. Okay. Now we're gonna go over to uh, Rewazd. And here's all of my configurations. Uh, we're gonna make a new one real quick, a new game profile. We'll call it like Gyro Test. I don't know. Don't call it Gyro Test because this is a t at whatever. Just, I just, whatever. just call it whatever you want. Um, and you're gonna add it. And then you'll see there's a little phone icon down here. You don't want to click that. That is your control pad. That is your phone. Okay. So what we're gonna do here. Make sure you uh, so we'll have that selected, and then we're going to go to the one that I just added, which is Gyro Test. Click that, and you'll see there's a little gyroscope down here, and all, all of your buttons. But the only one that we have available on our screen is number one. So what you're going to want to do, click on number one, okay? And then what we want to do is deselect these guys. Sorry, we just want this one because this is for like commands. This is for like X input, this is for mouse, keyboard, and this is for commands, which is what we want. We want rewised commands. Scroll all the way to, to the bottom, we want toggle gyro on off. Okay? And then we're gonna click on the gyroscope, go over to the advanced tab. And so basically what this is saying is if your gyroscope on your phone recognizes a certain threshold of movement we want it to press and in this case you're going to want to reselect the keyboard button uh, whatever your forward key is w whatever it is in my case uh, for, for simplicity for simplicity's sake 
we can just say that we want it to be W, but because I'm actually using Rewise to combine with StepL, the other app that you can do this with, I'm using that as like a step counter for a lot of my streams and videos. Since that one has to be set to W, what I do with this one is I set this to like some key that I never press, which is usually uh, backslash. Is that forward slash? That's backslash. Backslash. <laughs> um, and then whenever I'm in games, I have to set my forward key as backslash. Another reason why I actually like to do something like this is that I cannot press W to move forward in games. Like I have to be moving with my phone. And so now we're setting the threshold for movement. So like if you have the threshold at like, you know, max, you're going to have to like be majorly shaking your phone. I have my phone plugged in right now, but just trust that I'm like really shaking my phone. <laughs> like you have to like really shake it. I guess I could use my other phone. You have to really shake it. Um, but if I have found that if you have the, the high threshold set to like around under the E, you can, and you can mess with this, okay? So here's, so there's like three different settings, right? So there's your low, medium, and high. Uh, and so technically, I guess you could have it so that like medium movement is walking and then high movement is like running or something, but I've not had good success with that. So usually I just have one button that does one thing, but you can set different uh, output keys for the different threshold areas settings whatever whatever you want to call it so we're gonna put this on like e i think is that what i said um and then apply to slot one so now uh actually we're gonna check one more setting if you go into your settings here and then go to what is it um game pads yeah game pads your gyro initial state you want the initial state to be off because if you have the initial state to be on as soon as you click apply on on, on uh, your configuration as soon as you move your mouse or your uh, phone it'll start moving stuff around so we want we want it to be off so as soon as you click apply there I have my phone down here you can barely see it off screen just trust that it's like right there there you go um, as soon as I click the one now, here I have my trusty notepad down here. You'll see that as soon as I start moving my mouse, there we go. I hadn't actually clicked it, so it was still off. Okay, so as soon as I'm moving my, my mouse around, or my uh, phone around, actually, you know what, I'll put it in my pocket so you can tell. Okay, so if I don't move, it doesn't press anything. And if I start moving, it starts going forward. So like, assume that that's like your W key or whatever. As soon as you start locking in place or moving, you're going to be pressing the W key. You stop, you're going to stop. Get it? So, for simplicity's sake, if you don't care about the step counter, you would set this to W, W, where are you, W? There you go. Hit apply. And now, oh wait, I forgot. Every time you hit apply, you have to click the, uh, the button to toggle it. There you go. So you can set the toggle state to on, or the uh, the default state to on if you don't want to have to enable it every time, but I like knowing that I have to, to enable it, but I don't know. It's up to you. You guys know what to do. You can figure it out. You're smart people. Um, this is, was such a... I'm not very good at making tutorials, okay? I don't like editing things. So, sorry for rambling. Uh, but hopefully... Just dropped my phone. I don't care because I'm done. This is the stupidest setup I've ever made for a screen capture, but whatever.